Welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about another one of the important concept of data structure and name of that concept is selection sort. In this video, we are going to talk about the process of selection sort, how sorting works in through selection process and we will see the time complexity of selection sort and last but not least, we are going to see the code of selection sort with the with the help of Java programming language. Okay. Now, before we start talking about selection sort, there is one important point that we need to know that, that to work on a selection sort, you people have two different knowledge. One is big O notation and another one is arrays and list that we already covered in our previous video. Okay. Now, let's talk about selection sort. To understand the procedure of selection sort, what I will do, I will take an unsorted number as our input. Let's say our number is these, this is our input of unsorted number that we have to sort. Okay. So how we are going to sort with the help of selection sort. So what am I going to do? I am going to take a first number and I am going to compare the first number with all the numbers of right hand side and whichever the number will be the so lowest number of that first number as compared to first number i am going to replace the one okay so if 9 is our first number and 9 i am going to compare with all the other numbers then i can see that 1 is the lowest number so let's replace 1 with 9 Now the same thing I'm going to do with the next number. What is the next number after nine? So it is seven. Let's compare. Here I can see that two is the lowest number of all those number which exists here. So let's replace. Okay. Now after that four. Okay, now after that replacing that number, the next number is 8. Let's compare. Here the next lowest one is 4, correct? So let's replace. After that the next one is 9. And the lowest one is 5. Now here you can see that the next number is 6 but there is the lowest number exist here below 6. So I'm not going to change the position of 6 and it will remain as it is. So let's move into the next number. What is the next number? Next number is 8. And if I will check it out here, 7 is the lowest. So let's replace it. After this one, this, there is no lowest number exists beside that. So if I will arrange all the values here, So if we'll check the last one, you can see that all the data are sorted. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So if I will consider this is a n numbers and we have taken n times to to find out the, our sortest number, then our time complexity will be order of n into n that will be order of n square so this is the time complexity of selection sort so we understood how selection sort works and we also saw the uh, time complexity of selection sort now what is the next thing that we are going to do we are going to see the code of selection sort with the help of a j with the help of java so let's go to our eclipse and here we are going to initialize an array and save unordered numbers in the array. Okay, let's do that. After that, what I will do? We are going to iterate this array values with the help of an int history.
done now the f i'm going to compare first number with the remaining all the right hand side numbers right for that i'm going to use here for loop and the next number it will always start from i plus one because if i is the first number the next number will start from i plus one okay so j less than arr dot length done and here i am going to do that what minus one because it will go to the end of the position all right now what i am going to check here here i am going to check that if any number is less than that first position of i which i have saved it in a variable index if that's true then save the value of that and save the indexing number here done okay now after that when we have retracted that value if any 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 value which is lowest we have saved the value in indexing number the next thing that we are going to do we are going to swap the value so let's swap it here This is the code of our selection sort f inside a for loop to for loop and I'm checking first number with all the remaining numbers that if in num which is the lowest one of the first which I'm going to compare and once I found out the remaining number I'm going to just replace and if we did not don't find the remaining number then what happens uh, it will won't go into the if logic and it will just the position number of the number will be fixed exactly what we saw it here six which it won't change the position number okay it, it won't change the position number of that value so it will be remain as it is so the code is completed now we have to see the value to see the value what am i going to do i am going to take here a for each loop done now let's execute the code One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The number is sorted. So the code that we have written here is completely correct. So with that, this is the end of the video. And again, in the next video, we are going to talk about another one of the important concept of data structure. And also the code that we have written it here, I will provide in the GitHub in the I will provide I will upload it in the GitHub and GitHub link I will give in the description section. Stay tuned for upcoming IDN channel for the next upcoming video of data structure. Thank you.